Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So when we moved to this new home, um, I wanted to get a lot of greenery into the home. So this is one way that we did it. And a lot of people asked during our home tour video how we did this frame. Um, so today we are going to do something very similar for our powder room. And we're going to show you how we did it. It's very easy. All you need is either an old frame or an old painting um and some uh things from ikea and uh, today we don't have a old painting so we just have a plain frame that we'll use and we'll show you how to do something like this so let me show you what you need for this project uh we will be using this plain frame this is actually the back of uh, an easel stand and we thought it would be a good way to use it as a frame but if you already have an existing old painting you can use that as well to make the backing of this, we just have some old plywood lying around. We're going to cut it and attach it to the back. And to attach it, we will use a staple gun um, so that the wood attaches to this wood. And to hang this frame, we will be using a French cleat. You can use anything else to hang it as well. Uh, most, if you already have an old frame, it will probably have something to hang it up anyways. But since we don't, we'll be using the French cleat to hang it. And finally, uh, to stick the plants on it, uh, we are using this wood glue from the page. Um, we're going to be using a lot of it. So we got a whole bottle. And on top, we are using these two um, panels from Ikea. You get these very easily. These are the two types they come in. So we are going to mix both of them and going to stick this. At the back, as you can see, there is a whole system. You can easily cut it smaller if you want for a smaller piece. So we are going to use this. So the frame, this is the back side of the frame. You can see here the staples. So we are going to put this on its back and we found these old plyboards lying around so we have cut it to size so that it covers the back and to attach this to this frame we are just going to use a staple gun and we're going to attach this um, and this will be the backing of the frame Now we're installing the French cleat to the back and we're making sure that it goes all the way on the top. And it's very simple, you just have to screw in this in the wood. We have decided to do alternate, so one of these and then attach with one of these. So IKEA's uh, panels comes with these tabs so you can interconnect these two together you just have to put the tabs together and click it in these panels can easily get attached to each other we can put them one below the other as well so now we have this attachment and if you look at the back there is extra tabs coming out so for the top the ones that will come on the top here we'll just cut out the tabs so that they don't interfere with the frame So they get easily cut off with a pair of scissors. They're just plastic tabs. We just want to keep this side even. Now to fit this to the frame side by side, we also have to cut out a little bit from each side. And again, we'll just use scissors. They just easily cut off. So we have cut equally from both sides and now it is fitting perfectly. So we are going to cut the same size for all of the other ones. So we have these three sections made and we are just going to clip all of them together. 
with the tabs that we have so that they become one whole sheet and we'll still have some space here so we need to do another section as well before we stick all of it We are also going to save these extras that we cut out from the sides and then we'll just push it somewhere so that it looks more full. We don't want to waste these. We have put the whole thing together and attached all of the panels and this is how much we need to cut off for it to fit. So after this is cut, we'll have one piece that will fit the whole frame and we just have to stick all of it and it will be like one whole mat but we'll keep these extras for filling in any gaps. You can see this fits perfectly so we'll go and now stick it. So we are putting the wood glue here. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. And we'll just use the scraper to spread it out evenly. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here high and dry. Just putting some extra glue on the top side because it might fold off from there especially on the sides it's important that there's enough glue even though it's very light we should make sure that the sides are fully covered and we have, they're stuck by the side very well now we're just going to put this over and fix it properly and we'll give it some time for the glue to dry we'll probably leave it for an hour or so so it's properly fixed so we have these extra pieces we are just going to put some glue on them and wherever we see um, that there could be some space we will go and fix it in there just with some glue so that this looks very full and we don't waste anything and now this painting is ready to hang so just going to put it up here So what did you think of our easy DIY? Um, this DIY, is, we did this because we had an extra frame lying around and we thought that this would be a good way to use it and it's part of our um, powder room makeover so we are going to release that series soon, do watch it and uh, hope you like this easy and simple DIY, anyone can do it, it's super simple um, and it looks really good in, in this washroom right now. So for such more videos uh, for easy DIYs, home improvement projects, do follow our channel, uh, subscribe and like this video and we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.